Okay, let's go ahead and uh, want to go through a video on how to configure your um, G printer uh, printer. Um, basically, you're either going to have a GP1225 or 1324 printer. Uh, so let's go into um, this particular driver that I already have installed. Uh, now this is just to set up your page size. If, you, if you're getting performance where the pages are coming out, like maybe spitting out several pages when it should just print one label, um, you have to set the page size. And there's several ways to do that really, but I found that this seems to be a pretty solid procedure. So let's uh, go ahead and just show you some of the things that can be set up here. We'll go to the Manage button. Okay, and we're going to First, we're going to go to Printer Properties, and um, again, I'm doing this the more thorough way. You can just go to Printing Preferences and set the page size. If you want to really try and get it to behave uh, more solidly and maybe hold the settings better, what I'd recommend is go to Driver Settings, and you see the list of stocks that are in here under this Stock tab. Okay, we're going to go and we're going to create a new stock. And in this case, I'm just going to create one that's uh, like a 4x2, okay? We'll just set this to about 4 inches by 2 inches. And we're just going to call this, you know, 4x2 as our stock, okay? So we're going to set that, say OK. Um, so we've created that new stock. It appears down here, okay? So we're going to say Apply. And OK, and we'll close that out. And then we're going to go to Printing Preferences, okay, and we're going to set our stock to be that 4x2 stock size now. So apply, set OK. And if you want to, what I generally try to do that at this point is go ahead and just print a test page. I don't have a printer connected here at this point. I'm just doing this. So, but this will, so by adding a stock, you'll see your size added to the stock list here. Okay. Um, so, if we also go to printer properties again, now that we've applied those preferences, and you should see um, here where the green arrow is now next to the one that you set in the preferences. So, it'll stay with that stock for you, kind of as your default. So, hope this clears up any occasional problems that you might have with printers uh, not printing one page when it should just print one page if you're getting excessive labels coming out. Thanks.